<laughs> Self-attribution, creating your own skill for wins but blaming market conditions for losses. And the cognitive biases, and you guys can let me know if you've, you've experienced these, confirmation bias, right? Any following people who agree with your coins going to the moon. So if someone agrees with your idea, you know, you're that, you're that person. You see these on Twitter all the time. It's like someone's pumping Bitcoin or whatever it might be, and the group of people are all like, only want to hear that, they don't follow anyone else, and you're in this kind of tunnel vision. You've got blinkers, and you just want to watch people that do that because it makes you feel good, right? <laughs> And funny enough, they only really talk on Twitter when it's going up. Um, overconfidence, so believing that you've got the Midas touch because you picked a few winners in a row. <laughs> Self-attribution, creating your own skill for wins but blaming market conditions for losses. Yeah, who's done that? Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, we've all done it. I'm, a, I'm on YouTube, right? So I've posted out some winning trades that I like the look of and I try and share losses as well because I think that's important. But typically traders on social media you'll just see that it's like oh, oh yeah this is because i'm a genius that's why that worked you know that's why that happened and then blaming the market conditions a lot is much easier to blame the market than it is to blame yourself a bit like when you you're not losing fat 